Hello everybody. Uh, I really haven't been posting any videos lately. Uh, it's kind of a lie to say I've been busy. I've had plenty of time too, but uh, editing the video, taking the video, posting the video is, is really time consuming work. And I've tried a couple of times, but I really haven't uh, made anything that made it to the posting stage. I had an idea last night because uh, every day, uh, since I've been home, my grandfather calls me, and I'm in different parts of the city doing different things. Usually, it's about dinner time, uh, and we just kind of share each other's day, and it's a really amazing thing. And I miss talking to all my friends back home. One of the hardest things about living in China is you miss everybody from back home, and you wish you could share it, but you're a whole world apart. It takes like 24 hours just to travel from my city here in Chengdu back to Green Bay, Wisconsin, through uh, South Korea and Chicago, as I found the best route to get there. My point is, I want to try to make a video sharing just a little bit of each of my days to, uh, to all my friends back home. And the idea is, I'm going to post two videos a day. One's going to be a 360 video. Uh, I've got one friend back home that kind of appreciates the VR headset where you can look around and see what China's like like he's really there that that's really important to me. I don't really see many other uh, bloggers doing that uh, to be honest uh, a lot of people have, have really stopped posting uh, or moved back to the states and it seems like there's kind of this gap now where a lot of people have done kind of all the, the regular things like tasting food and showing China, but China's constantly evolving, growing, uh, building, the construction here is just, I can't even start to describe it. To get back to the point, I want to share a little bit, each one of my days, I want to post one 360 video, and then one lightly edited uh, video that you can watch on your computer or your phone. Uh, and if you want to see these, just take a minute now, to hit the subscribe button I'm gonna ask like it if you can uh, and I'm gonna call it countdown to permanent residency so I haven't had a job for a long time now uh, I did have one Chinese job it didn't turn out too well maybe I'll get into that later on uh, but I worked there for five months it was a really interesting experience working in the Chinese culture nap time is totally a thing where uh, everybody shuts off the lights the last like half hour of your break you usually get like an hour and a half and everybody in the office just takes a nap at their desk it's kind of a uh, team building kind of thing in a passive way where if you can fall asleep next to somebody you can really trust them but anyway i get sidetracked a lot i want to post a video every day there's about 456 days until I've been in China for five years. There's a five-year uh, minimum requirement to apply for permanent residency. One of the most important things about permanent residency is that you don't need a work permit to get a job in China. Now, to get a work permit, you need certain things like uh, your health reports, uh, non-criminal record from the United States, any of my marriage certificates certified by an embassy. And, uh, the hardest thing to get is a reference that says, you've worked in a professional field because there's only certain jobs that foreigners can do in China they can't be done by a Chinese person so you can't get like a, a mechanics job or a barista job in China because uh, those jobs go to Chinese people so you need to be like specialized English teacher is like the most common job in China uh, because foreigners are really good at English uh, I, I I didn't choose to go that route. So the job that I did have was an American business consultant, kind of technical. Uh, I did have some American business consultant experience back home. So I was able to provide the letter that said I had experience and uh, that provided my work. So with a permanent residency, right, you don't need the work permit. You can get a job just like any other Chinese citizen as a foreigner living in China, so permanent. And so, I have about 456 days 
before I get permanent residency. And that seemed like a really long goal. But it seemed long enough that I can get some people following my YouTube channel. I don't necessarily want to get uh, super famous and popular for the fame. I really just want to share what's going on here in China in a little different way. Like the 360 video, you don't need the VR goggles. Uh, you can look at it. Look it up if you're watching the regular video where you take your phone and you can like look around. And so I'm going to try to pick an interesting spot every day, kind of describe what's happening in my life, describe the weather. Right now, the air quality isn't that great. It's uh, a little above freezing. It's the uh, summer solstice, the winter solstice was just like yesterday. So uh, right now, it's about. Uh, quarter to three, 20 to three uh, on Friday. There's a 14 hour time difference from my hometown back home, uh, Chicago time zone. So uh, I'll try to post it within that window, about 14 hours every day, because there is a little light editing that I need to do. But again, getting back to the point of this video, I want to share China with you just a little bit because a lot of the guys that I watched uh, really aren't posting anymore. Just some examples, if you want to go back and look, Austin in China was a really good guy. He put a lot of time into his channel, but um, life has just gotten kind of a little busy for him, I believe. He moved to Guangzhou, and he hasn't been posting much anymore. Uh, Jiayou left China. Cyrus left China. His content is amazing. He... Um, He's really gotten in-depth in a lot of good topics about China as a whole. A lot, a lot less about lifestyle, a lot more about politics. Um, Catherine's journey to the East is really good, but she also has a career, so she's been posting a bit less. She just, uh, I see through her channel, I don't really know her, uh, that she got a house kind of in a village. She's kind of exploring that. She used to do bike tours, if you want to look up her channel. I really enjoy her her channel as well. And there's a girl from South Africa, Lizzie. She does really good content too. So those are a few uh, shout outs that I want to give kind of inspiration for what I'm going to be doing now. But I don't see anybody doing 360 video. So I hope that's a unique aspect to the videos that I'm putting out. Um, right now, we're in Nanhu Gorji, or uh, Nanhu Park, it's a Nanhu International Subdivision. I've probably said this before, but it's really interesting because I am one of the only international people that live here. Uh, I believe we just had a Russian family move in. It's very interesting uh, because people have mistaken me for them already um, because we're all foreigners, foreigners as well. And then I have one friend, Johnny who uh, was Chinese, but moved to, oh, I forget, uh, an Asian country and changed his citizenship. So technically he's a foreigner, but nobody can tell because he looks Chinese. I'm the only guy that looks foreign outside of the Russians uh, in my neighborhood here. So we're at the main entrance gate. If you look behind me, you can see. Otherwise, I'll try to frame it in. Um, very active. Uh, the trees have all turned yellow down this way. In about a month, they'll lose all their leaves. Uh, my neighborhood is swept every day. So these leaves that you see on the ground have been here for less than 12 hours. So uh, they do an amazing job. I really love saying hi to each one of them um, as much as I can. My Chinese has gotten a bit better. Uh, every day I use my phone to study Mandarin. So you will can show you the NDN Zhongwen. so I can speak a little Chinese. Uh hearing and understanding Sichuan uh, under uh, language, the, the dialect is really difficult. A lot of the Chinese words sound almost exactly alike. Just this morning I was walking my wife Xing Yi to work and I thought I heard one of the people doing Tai Chi say Bai Zhou. And I was like, oh, bai jo, Chinese alcohol. And she was like, no, bai jo, like kick. So I think I hear and understand things, but I really don't. 
I'll keep working on it. Uh, got a year, about three months to get more fluent because I believe part of the permanent residency application also has an interview in Chinese to see how good you are at Chinese. Uh, so yeah, uh, I won't make this video too long. Thanks for watching to the end again. Um, I'm just doing this as a hobby. Uh, I thought about doing it as a new re resolution. So I'm like, meh, why, why don't I just start it today so that everybody can see me today and uh, start, uh, start a new endeavor, a little hobby to say hi back home. I also had an idea of starting uh, answering questions. So I'll gather questions during the week on the channels and then say Friday every week I'll answer a bunch of people's questions. So uh, here's the second ask if you can comment your questions. I will definitely collect them. Uh, I will try to um, answer as many as I can until it gets to be too much. Uh, but a uh, little shout out to everybody that will future support the channel and uh, kind of see what's going on in China because it is totally a different world here. Uh, I've been here for about three years and nine months so now it's it's kind of like every day to me and I don't realize how different it is anymore until I call back home. I've got a handful of friends that I, I stay in pretty close contact with through FaceTime. But when I start describing my life here, I almost don't under, like believe the words that are coming out of my mouth because they they sound crazy as I'm saying them and hearing them and thinking about them myself. But uh, it's it's an amazing it's an amazing experience that I get to have here. Uh, there was a lot of sacrifice to get here. I had to give up my career, uh, my family, my friends. I don't get to see them much outside of FaceTime, and I have to stay up for all hours in the morning because of the 14 hour time difference but uh, I do it all again it's, uh, it's a pretty amazing life here and I just want to share it with everybody so with that said I love you guys I think you're awesome and I'll see you again tomorrow